we'll come out on the other side and there's going to be a lot of changes when this is over. Good morning YouTube. This is Cruise Man. It is April 1st. I am aware that it is April Fool's Day, but I promise not to fool you today. It is a beautiful morning here in Dallas-Fort Worth, about 65 degrees, and I'm just going to go out for a little ride around town. No particular reason other than just to get out of the house. I know I caught some uh, grief from a couple of you when I went and test rode the 2020 up in Shawnee, Oklahoma, uh, saying that now's no time to be out and around because of the uh, of the coronavirus and the pandemic, but. Honestly, I don't see any way that I can do any harm to myself or anyone else by being out riding on the motorcycle by myself. I just don't see how that could affect anyone. And uh, same thing, you know, if you wanted to go for a drive in the car. And we do not have a shelter in place or whatever they call it order here in the Dallas Fort Worth or in the Texas actually we just don't have that in this state yet and I know we're looking at another 30 days of social distancing and that's why I made my most recent video where I suggested that maybe those of us who will be getting a $1,200 check um, that can afford to do so. Obviously those checks are designed to stimulate the economy and one way we can stimulate the economy is by purchasing some of the little accessories and riding gear and stuff that we use on our motorcycles and that will help to support all these small businesses uh, that are really struggling right now. Now the reason I know all this is true is because I'm a small business. I have a small, I have two small businesses. One of them, uh, the cruisereport.com website has been completely decimated by this, as you can imagine. Uh, we basically lost every advertiser on that website, so we have zero revenue right now other than a little tiny bit of Google ad revenue which is nothing really doesn't amount to anything so I know what these small businesses are going through and that's why I made that video actually there's another small business that or a product for your motorcycle or actually in this case I'm talking about for the car I recently got uh, the Fobo Tire 2 system in. Some of you saw my video on the Fobo Bike 2 where I tested out the uh, Fobo TPMS sensors on my Goldwing and on my Bushtech trailer and I think they're really really cool the way they communicate with your uh, smartphone and they do a really good job of alerting you if you have a tire that is below the minimum pressure that you want to maintain. They put out this really annoying alarm to let you know. And so I'm a big fan. I put my shade down to protect my eyes a little bit. Well, now I had the opportunity yesterday to install their next generation, what's called the Fobo Tire 2, which is for uh, cars and trucks. And basically you get four sensors instead of just two and they're pretty reasonably priced actually and it's the same they, the sensors look identical the, the biggest difference is these are labeled uh, you know fr uh, front right front left rear right rear left so you 
they're pre-programmed basically to be on those tires because there is a in-car unit a little device that you leave in your glove box or somewhere in your car and it's what's actually communicating with those sensors and then your your smartphone is actually paired to that in-car device and uh, it was much easier to set up than I thought it would be you basically download the app to your phone and then you put this little in-car uh, I call it a transmitter receiver you put this little in-car device into a pairing mode and then once your smartphone recognizes it they kind of pair up and it's really really well executed the way they do it I wish the I wish the Bluetooth headsets on the Goldwing would pair up as easily as this thing did because it was pretty much seamless and then once you do that it's just a matter of installing the sensors on your uh, valve stems and I to test it I didn't put in the little uh, lock nuts but I went back later and tried out the lock nut using their little wrench that you use and it, uh, it's pretty cool how it works they give you a little key ring to keep that wrench on but I'm just gonna keep one in the car in the glove box they give you a couple of those little wrenches so I'm just gonna leave one in the car and then on the motorcycle I'll leave one on the glove box because I know what's gonna happen I'm gonna take my bike in to get the tires changed and I'm gonna forget and I'll forget to remove those sensors and then John over at Maxim Honda is not going to know how the hell to get that sensor off and I'll have to tell him to look in the glove box and to get the little wrench out and that's how you uh, unlock them. So it's a really a pretty elegant little system and uh, I like it. Now I, I installed these on my little Lexus NX200 just to test out the system to see how it worked and uh, it actually worked just just as uh, just as well as it did on the motorcycle it's the same interface that's why I like it because it's identical interface to the it is a different app though I will say they have a tire 2 app instead of a bike 2 app it would be kind of cool if they could integrate all of those into one app so that I could have my motorcycle and my automobile on the same app so I wouldn't have to have two different apps uh, running and I could just switch back and forth between the two vehicles but currently the they are separate apps one for cars trucks and one for motorcycles or trailers they even offer an optional sensor for your spare tire and the app lets you monitor that as well you might check out that Fobo tire too it's pretty impressive and uh, they actually have a discount code I'm gonna put it up on the screen and I'll put it down in the description below where you can order these through the month of April and you get a discount using that discount code and I think I saw a notice on their website that there might be a little bit of a delay in shipping right now because of the COVID-19 and uh, shipments and cargo but uh, they said I think they'll be shipping by April 15th or something like that but they're only going to offer this discount on the first 2,000 sets they sell so if you're planning on getting this for your car you might want to do it pretty soon uh, in addition to helping out these small businesses with some of that stimulus money and I, I want to reiterate again if you're in a situation where you've lost your job or you've lost part or all of your income that that's not really what I was I really wasn't talking to you we uh, very sympathetic to those situations and know that you you already know where that twelve hundred dollars going in fact twelve hundred is not going to be enough most likely but I was talking to the people who still are fully employed still getting a full-time income or maybe you're retired and you have retirement income that's not affected by this econ economic disaster so that's really who I intended it for that's pretty much my message on this April Fool's Day I'm not gonna April fool you with anything today I think you've had enough so we got another 30 days ahead of us and this uh, virus this virus is a bitch but we're going to defeat it and we'll come out on the other side and there's going to be a lot of changes when this is over. 
a lot of things are going to change forever as a result of this and uh, I might talk about that in a future motor vlog some of the things that I see happening and what I expect to happen so I just want all you guys out there to stay safe follow the guidelines uh, from the president and the coronavirus task force and make sure you ride safe too so thanks for joining me today and I will see you again on the next cruise man's motor vlog if you enjoyed this video please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and if you click the little bell icon YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.